Okay, guys, 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 let's talk about something real quick. Let's talk about something real quick. After the last episode, I thought we were going into a horde night. I thought it happened on day six going into day seven. I was wrong about that. It looks like it's going to be day seven into day eight. So we have another day to where we can do some looting and try to fix up this base a little bit. But I have another issue. If you look down in the bottom left hand corner, I have a freaking broken arm because when I was running back after it hit the 22 hour earlier, I came across a dog in the middle of the road and let's just say he tore my ass up. He tore me up and we killed him, but we, we almost died in the process. I got my health back up a little bit with some painkillers, but he definitely wrecked me and it was not a good time. So now we're going to go into the Horde Knight with a broken arm. Unless, unless, unless I have what it takes to make a plaster cast, I did use my skill points and I put it in whatever the skill tree is that allows you to make a plaster cast. So I don't know if I have four cornmeal. So how do you get crushed sand? Uh, crushed sand, small stone. So here, let's just make two. Oh, I can't, I need the mixer. I need to put these in the mixer. Is that what I need? Crushed sand is a core resource that can be smelted in the forge to make glass and use to craft items. Now, yeah, I can't I I can't make crushed sand without the mixer, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, so that's not gonna work for me. That's not gonna work for me. So we're gonna have a broken arm. Uh potentially. I don't know if that's an hour and fifty-two minutes of like real time, or if that's an hour and fifty-two minutes of game time. But guys, nonetheless, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, I know there's several of you watching this series, and I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with it, uh, but the numbers just keep going down every episode. So um, hopefully we can get some more of you in here and get some likes and get some views on these things so, uh, so we can keep playing it. All right, we're going to ride out the night until the 4 o'clock hour, and then we're going to go out back to that military post. That's the first thing I want to do is I want to go back to that military post because there was a room that had weapons in there. And I want to get to the weapons as quick as I can. And I want to see what kind of weapons I can uh, get out of there. And if for some reason we aren't able to get any weapons out of that room, then we're going to see what we can get. We're going to see what we can get out of all of the inventory that we have that we can sell. And at that point, we'll go to the trader and we'll, we'll sell some things and then uh, hopefully... The trader will have some stuff that I can buy, maybe a gun of some sort. Because I don't know how this first Horde Knight is going to go without at least another gun other than the Blunderbuss. Alright, we've got a zombie causing some, some ruckus out here. Hopefully it's just one zombie. Yeah, we got a, we got a, a fireman out here. Took care of him real quick. Now we also need a lot of wood, and I'm not going to do that until until after the four o'clock hour because it'll attract a lot of zombies, but we need some wood so we can uh, create. I got some tips from you guys. I got uh, I got a tip from Captain Beard. I got a tip from Captain Beard who told me to create some uh, the wood fence. Let's see. Is, let's see if I can find the fence. Uh, or is it just wood railings, wood bars? These wood bars right here and then we can uh, attach them to the outside of the ledge that I created and that way I can walk over the bars and I can look down and I can shoot through the bars. So uh, Captain Beard, thank you for that tip. I appreciate it. Guys, he's also a new YouTuber. Go check him out. Go check out Captain Beard. He also plays survival games. Yeah, as soon as it hits 4 o'clock, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head back to that military post. We'll catch up with you when that time comes. All right, guys, it is 4.30 a.m. And I took this time also during the night to move my inventory upstairs. So both of these uh, should now be empty. Nope, there's still some stuff in this one. So let's get all of this. So we have some uh, some silver nuggets here. We'll probably end up selling those. Let's go take these upstairs real quick. All right, so we have all the inventory put up that we want to be put up. Now let's go. We're going to head back down to that military outpost it's quite a ways away it's a nice little lock so I'll, a nice little walk i mean so i want to do it early i want to do it early 
And then we'll have to come back and we'll have to get some wood, put a little finishing touches on the bases. Hopefully, okay, if there's uh, if there's weapons here, if there are weapons in this building, then I'm not going to worry about going to the trader today. If there's not weapons in the building, then we're going to have to get some stuff to sell to the trader so we can hopefully buy a weapon from the trader. I definitely don't want to go into the Horde Knight with just a blunderbuss, you know, a club and a bow and arrow and crossbow and some uh, bolts. We have some pipe bombs and I think we have a few of the hubcap landmines, but that's just not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough and that's not going to do it. All right, got a backpack here. We got some scrap gloves. I don't know what these scrap gloves are. Should we just equip them or wear them? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we got some scrap gloves, uh, level two scrap gloves there. Not bad. This is untouched too. How did I miss this last time through here? Uh, this as well. Come on, let's get some good stuff in here. I must have just been in like a big super hurry last time and and missed all this stuff. So can't believe it. All right, what about over here? Yeah, missed this too. Oh, 169 brass. Okay, that's a pretty big. Untouched backpack here. Oh, man. Flashlight. Untouched rubbish. Come on, guys. Give me some good stuff, man. Give me some good stuff. We're not getting good stuff. We're not getting good stuff. See, I didn't think I could look in these. The ones that didn't have the trunks on them. I didn't think I could look in those, but apparently I can. So, uh, we got to keep that in mind. Untouched trash here. I ran past all this stuff. All this stuff in the last episode. All right, here's the popping pills that we ran past. We ran past the popping pills. Yeah, let's get some, let's get some aloe vera while we have it here. Let's pick it up. Uh, we're gonna have to start making some, ooh, some yucca too. Here, let's get some yucca. Yeah, we're gonna have to start making some uh, health kits pretty soon because I'm not finding enough just on my own, you know. Yeah, that's all we'll get for now. Let's keep going. Untouched garbage here. Nothing big. All right, let's go fight. Let's go fight this. Uh... She looks like she's working the streets, man. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I keep forgetting I'm sprinting everywhere. So I can't be using that right click after I sprint. All right, what about this car? Can I get in there? No. Ran right past all of this, man. I'm so disappointed in myself. All right, here's my other inventory box over there. Now, I remember uh, when I was editing my last one, I forgot to get this stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, let's wear this. It's a level three. And let's scrap this, and then we'll take this. But here is my inventory box, and there's quite a bit of inventory in here. Let's take this. Uh, I don't want to take the repair kit yet. We'll go ahead and get the, the brass. We got to come back by here. We got to come back by here and pick up everything. There's a level four blunderbuss in there too. I should be able to... Uh, dang it. I should be able to equip probably three blunderbusses. So I can have them all loaded for the, for the horde. All right, buddy. There you go. Take that. Uh, we're thirsty. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Let's drink a couple of them. We're going to run right past the diner. All right. There's the army outpost right there. And that's hopefully where we're going to find our weapons. We're going to go straight to that room. Yeah, there you go. He looks like a Chris, doesn't he? Hey, Chris. You just, uh, we're going to pop your head open, Chris. He looks like a Chris, doesn't he? Or like an Eric, Eric or Chris, something like that. Something real common. He looked like a basic white boy. That's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, here we are. All the zombinoids should be dead. I think I missed some gas over here yesterday too. I saw when I was editing. Maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong. Never mind. I did not miss any gas. Okay, I want to go up there too. And we'll, we'll go up there when we come back out. But we're going to go in here real quick. And we're going to go around. 
I didn't search any of this stuff either, you know? I probably could search all of this stuff. Because I was just going, I was, I was trying to, I was racing against the clock. Is basically what I was doing last time I was here. And I was just racing against the clock and I was trying to find some weapons as quick as I could. And this is where I got to. And look at that. Here is the, the weapons behind this glass door. So we're going to break this glass door down. It's going to take us a while to punch through it, but uh, we got to do it. We got to do it. There we go. We got in. Uh, oh, we're not in. Really? We got to do it to this too? Oh, man. This is bad. This is taking forever. All right. We got to do it though. We got to do it. All right, a couple more wax and we'll be done. Boom. Oh, man. Really? Okay. We got to get in here. Okay, this won't take long. This won't take much. All right. Let me in. Holy cow. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh, no. That's bad. This is bad. This is bad. Come on. Oh, okay. Go through here. Go through here. Okay. There you go. Knock him. Knock him. Come on. Stay with it. Stay with it. I uh, miss. I can't miss. I can't miss. Oh, uh, they're getting way too close. Let's get outside. They're chasing me outside. Okay, okay, okay. This is my only weapon I have with me, man. There we go. Popped his head. All right, we got two of these guys. Let's see if we can pop a head right there. Man, he's got some reach on him. He's got some reach. Okay, okay. My stamina is definitely a factor here. All right, we're just going to have to take it easy. If we just take it easy, we'll be okay. So they must be they must be guarding some good stuff. They must be guarding some good stuff. All right, everybody's dead. God, do I have anything? Oh, it's got some painkillers. Let's go ahead and use those painkillers. Get my health back up a little bit. Oh, man. Was not expecting that. I was definitely not expecting that. But, alas, we are finally in here. Give us some good weapons, please. Oh my gosh, really? We have... Come on, man. Come on, man. What's in here? What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, gosh. We have some lockpicks somewhere, don't we? I didn't bring them with me. Oh, we do have lockpicks right here. Oh, it's, it's not about being locked. It's about you just have to beat the hell out of it, right? Oh, this is 5,000. Oh, God. We got to get in here, though. We absolutely have to get in here. Here, we'll try to use this. We'll try to use this real quick. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. I got two lock picks. Let me get lucky. Let me get lucky. Come on. Nope. Dang, that one's big. Okay. All right. We just got to beat the hell out of these. Everything is just taking a lot longer than I thought it would, guys. Let's see. Do we have food on us? We have miso soup. Let's eat that. Uh, let's see some ravioli and sauce. There, right, let's eat that. Let's eat one more after this, and uh, then let's let's, let's uh, get some water in us. Uh, there's an airdrop. There could possibly be something in the airdrop. All right, let's keep beating on this. Let's keep beating on this safe. All right, we're finally there. Let me in. Give me something good. Another freaking blunderbuss. Oh my gosh, guys. 
How did I not get any weapons out of that? How did I not get any weapons out of that? Oh, man. It's a level three blunderbuss, so that'll go with good with our level four. Oh, my gosh, guys. Let's repair this real quick. Do I have any mods here that I can put on this? See, I don't know what mods I have and what mods I don't. Like, I don't know what I can put on what. I don't know what goes on what, but I know I have a few mods. Oh, they're blinking red, so fortifying grip mod. Okay, cool. So maybe that'll help a little bit. All right. Uh, that works, and it gets it out of our inventory. Cool. All right, so... um, Oh, there's another, there's another safe. Oh, there's a safe here. There's two more safes, so we can get into these a little bit quicker. It is starting to get late. This is taking forever. This is taking forever, but if I'm going to find a weapon without having to pay for it, it's going to be down in this room, so we're going to stay down here uh, just for a little bit longer and see if we can get into one of these and find some weapons. All right, just a couple more wax, and we should be in. All right, give me something. No. Got nothing. Got a muzzle brake mod. Got two sets of knuckle wraps. They're giving a lot of knuckle wraps. We got some more here. I'm going to work on these for a little bit until it gets too late. Once it gets probably at around 1700 hour, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and uh, try to get ready for Horde Night. Well, this will probably be the last safe I'll be able to get into. So uh, here's to hoping something good is behind this safe. All right, just a few more wax, and we'll be in here. Give me something good. Nope. Nope, nothing good. And honestly, I do not have time to get into this one. I do not have time to get into that one, guys. And we're going to have to get out of here. Going to have to make the decision to get out of here. Maybe we'll search through some of these. Uh, see if we can find anything. Wow. So, yeah. Got into that room. Weapons bags. Big safe. Absolutely uh, no weapons for me. No guns for me uh, to help me out with, hard, uh, with Horde Night coming up. So, uh, disappointing to say the least. So, I just don't know how things are going to go. I guess since we're here, we can search through here real quick. We did not search through here. Last time we were here, make sure there's no zombies in here. There's going to be one in the shower here. Oh, there's one here too. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, my goodness. All right. There we go. Lay down. Lay down. Come on, Glenn. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Oh my gosh. Now I'm bleeding. Now I am bleeding and let's see. We have one of these. Use it quick, 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 quick. Oh. Okay. Bad idea to come in here apparently. So there, there's more ammo. So much ammo. So much ammo and uh, very little weapons to, to use the ammo with. So, don't need to die. All right, so that's pretty much let's see what's in the locker. Oh man, I think that was my last hope. All right, so we're hungry. Let's go ahead and eat some tuna. Man, that is all the food I have on me right now, to, to be honest with you. So, um, I don't have anything else. I can eat these yucca seeds, uh, this yucca fruit, I believe. So, let's see. Yeah. I can eat the yucca fruit. Let's see what we got in here. We got some, uh, some of the Mega Crush. I could actually use some of the Mega Crush right now. Could have used these lock picks. I could take the lockpicks down there and try to get into that last safe. 
You think I should do that? I don't know. We gotta go. We gotta go, if I'm being honest with you. We gotta go. Here, let's drink this Mega Crush. And it'll get us back much faster. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, dog! A dog! And I am low on health. Oh my gosh. This is what happened to me last time. Let me get out of here. Leave that dog alone. And let's go. So I got a lot of things going on with me, guys. I have an abrasion that's going to last 26 more minutes. I have something that has me leaning over. Like, I don't know what that symbol is. The one with me leaning over for an hour and 56 minutes. I have no idea what that is. Uh, a splint. So I tried to use a splint for my arm and it didn't work. Okay, we'll try to make a splint. But anyway, and then I have a broken arm for another hour. So this isn't going to go too well for me for my first horde night, guys. I actually don't know how to make this, like, successful. All right, we're going to stop over here by our inventory box. I want to see if I have a splint over here because I could have swore I had a splint at some point and I tried to use it for my arm and it didn't work. Uh, let's see. Do I have a splint in here? I do have a splint in here. So let's see if I can use that. All right. So that did work. It took care of my arm. So that worked. Cool. What about a bandage? Can I use a bandage? No, it will not let me use a bandage right now. Uh, we need our money. I need this blunderbuss. Let's scrap that. And let's get this blunderbuss. Uh, let's get some honey. Honey. Uh, this is not honey. This is beer. I thought that was honey. Okay, so let's uh, take, let's see, move this here. I need these. Uh, let's move this glass here. I need all my ammo. Even if I can't use it, I still need the ammo just in case. Put this cigar here. Let's get this here. All right, getting all the ammo that I can find right now and that I have that I can use. I have some more blunderbuss ammo uh, at the base. That's only 37. Uh, we need to... We need to head back to the base now. Oh, God, we got a zombie here. All right, at least we took care of our arm. That's good. Hey, Chris. Uh, he's only Chris because he looks like a Chris. There's nothing behind it. All right, we have three in-game hours before our first horde night, guys. All right, guys, we are back to the house. Let's go in. We do not have a lot of time uh, to prepare here. I don't have even time to make... The railings that are supposed to go out and uh, over over the ledge I don't have time to even do that so let's go ahead and put as much uh, let's put as much stuff as we can up all right we're gonna go in here and get all the weapons that we can I didn't even have time to make spikes I mean I spent way too much time uh, doing things I probably didn't need to be doing and that is uh, my fault that's my fault. This is going to go very badly. But hey, we're here. We have to do it. We have to go through it. And so we're going to do the best that we can. Let's get these pipe bomb. This pipe bomb ammo. We've got it. Oh, we have, uh, we have 40 pipe bombs. We have 40 pipe bombs. I forgot we had 40 pipe bombs. All right. We got a lot of... Um, Let's see, we have a lot of arrows. We have a lot of arrows. We're going to bring down another arrow just in case the other one breaks. So, guys, blunder bus or bust. <laughs> blunder bus or bust. That's the name of this game right here. Do we have any more, any more arrows or anything like that? I'm afraid not. We have these landmines. Here, let's go put these landmines out, I guess. It's three of them. It'll be better than nothing. All right. Here, we'll just put them right here at the steps. There it goes. Put them one right there, one right there, and one right there. All right, guys. You're going to have to wish me luck. 
This is going to be U-G-L-Y. I ain't got no alibi. But here we go. Only a blunderbuss. We got some pipe bombs. Maybe maybe they'll group up and I'll be able to throw some pipe bombs down and, and destroy them a little bit. But this is all we've got right here. I'm hoping they just come right through here. And of course I'm hot too, so... Yeah, we're going to drink the last of our water, too. Okay, here they come. Of course they're not coming over here. Hey, come over here, you. Come over here, you. Oh, it's not loaded. It's not loaded. Oh, this is great. I already can't see them. I already can't see them. Um. So, yeah, this did not go well. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right. I didn't load them all. How you like that? Oh, they're they're really going after this door. They're really going after this door. Oh no. See, this is bad. This is bad already. This is bad. I fell down. Hey, let's get around them. Let's get around them. Let's kill him and then we'll go back in. All right. Bad news. Bad news. Bad news, guys. Uh, they're in the house, aren't they? Why do none of them want to come over here? I don't understand why they're all going right through there. I really don't. They are tearing through this house. They are tearing through this house pretty easy. Look, they're tearing through this house pretty easy. Ah, oh, here they are. They're here. They're here. They are here. Up, up. I'm going to get caught in here. Oh, I miss. I miss. There we go. All right, guys. My best bet is probably just to wait on them to come up these stairs now. Because they are uh, destroying the house. And not in areas that I wanted them to. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see where they're at out here. Let's close this door. How many are where? They're still not. They are still not coming out the front here. This is not good. Okay, here they come. Here they come. 
All right. Got both of them with that. All right. All right. I'm holding my own as they come up the stairs. I don't know where... Are they coming through here? Where are they coming through? Did they breach the kitchen? Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, hello. I guess the only way they can come in is through the kitchen here. So we could start here. They're trying to come through the side there. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. The Blunderbluss sure does reload slow, but uh, I don't know what I would do without it. Let's go outside and try to fight a little bit, I guess. Here, we'll leave him. Hey, you, you. Okay. All right, all right. All right, come on. Make sure nothing's coming behind me. Here, come over here. I have some mines over here I'd like for you to walk over. Come on. Come walk right through here. Come on. Just walk right there. Right there. Come on. Step on it. Step on it. There you go. You lousy zombie. You lousy zombie. What about you? Why don't you step on it? There you go. Lousy zombie. Oh, this one fell off. Oh, no. They, the body flew everywhere. Okay. All right. Where's everybody? Is that it? No, we got a nurse. Nurse Betty back here. All right. Is that it? Is that it for our first Horde Knight? Very mild, to say the least. A very mild Horde Knight, to say the least. I never really got overrun at all. All right, let's go search the bag. I only got one bag. Yeah, more freaking ammo for guns that I don't have. Didn't use that many blunderbuss either. I only use about 30 blunderbuss. Didn't use any of my arrows. But there you have it, guys. There's my first Horde Knight. So only had about 40-something health. Only had a blunderbuss. I didn't use any of the pipe bomb ammo. And we succeeded our first Horde Knight. Guys, I really appreciate... You're watching. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the gameplay. And if you're a new viewer, please subscribe and come back for more. We're going to have to pick it up. We're actually going to have to build a freaking base for the next one. We're going to find like a, a permanent home because this is not going to be our permanent home. Here in this in this biome is not going to be our permanent home. So let's go find a permanent home and then we can build a base, an actual zombie horde base for horde knights. Uh, we'll start that in the next episode. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.